Hi, my name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Girl Readings. We'll be doing Capricorn Vedic. Because you guys got another group that got the most views for your video, and I wanted to say thank you for watching. So we'll be doing a video on your future. Um, we'll be doing, getting right into this extended reading. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make it go viral, guys. Um, if you need any readings, um, please leave me an email at sistergoreadings.com or visit the website sistergoreadings.com. Um, without further ado, let's go in and jump right in. Capricorn is just so damn busy, 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 my spirit says. They're always trying to occupy their damn time so they don't have to worry about or focus on other things that they are definitely sad or depressed about. Ace of Cups and Ten of Cups. Now, how befitting. Ace of Cups is about love, love, love. Ooh la la. Feeling special, feeling caring. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you're in love with. You're just sitting there like, oh, he's so beautiful. She's so dreamy, right? And then, ba bow, bow. Ten of Cups reverse. You guys have had a breakup. Somebody didn't have an argument. Things did not turn out the way you hoped. Ouch. Let's see. What else, Capricorn? You went in too hard, too risky, my spirit guy says. Eight of Wands, yep, too fast. You went in too fast. You went in and four of cups, you you just sit back there apathetic now, just sitting there like, man, I shouldn't have did that. Maybe you had an affair. Maybe you did something stupid or maybe you were bored and you just had to go ahead and get your fill in. Either way, your relationship is damaged because of quick actions. It seems like someone is not talking or they're not talking about what needs to be said. Someone is still thinking. Uh, what is Ten of Cups and the Eight of Wands? The star. Okay, so someone... Um, hmm, that's interesting. That's a very interesting combination. Ten of Cups and Eight of Wands. Could be that um, your relationship, you know, the new love that you're looking for, things didn't pan out. And, I mean, you guys aren't talking or, or things are going too fast and we need to contemplate. But it's a new beginning, nonetheless. Uh, maybe that's what you needed to... Because Star is about um, new beginnings after a tower moment. Why is Star here? Ooh, okay. The Emperor. Okay, the Emperor and Ace of Wands. So maybe they want to start a new beginning. Uh, maybe they know that they fucked up real bad and they disappointed you and things went left. And now the Emperor, who's a controlling dick or someone that didn't take charge before... They want a new beginning. What's the Ace of Wands here? Because you know I don't like the Ace of Wands card. It better be about a new beginning creatively or it better be about... What's Ace of Wands doing here? Okay, so Knight of Wands. Someone is still ain't learning their lessons. They are hard-headed. They're going after people. Just like, bruh, like, slow down. So this person is very brash. They just charge into your life. Just do whatever they want to do. The moon, they don't listen to their intuition. They're disconnected. The risk is very risky and they shouldn't take it. It will end up leaving them in a position where they will be completely confined. But they don't care because they're so busy being the knight of swords, cussing and having a horse fall on top of them for their decisions. How tragic. Why is the Ace of Cups here? For Capricorn. Okay, so the Nine of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Someone is giving you a bullshit-ass offer. Some Capricorn person or someone, Capricorn, this is you. You, Four of Pentacles, is your card. You are giving someone a bullshit, secretive, lying-ass, emotionalist offer that is in the guise of love, that's going to disappoint someone. And it, 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 it seems like a new beginning, but it's bullshit. Here you are, you're an aggressive control freak. You're trying to control someone's moves or outcomes. You're bored. You want dick or you want to get your dick wet. And then you're not listening to your intuition or you're trying to uh, go back to a relationship in which you've hurt someone. It's not going to work out. It's frivolous and it's bullshit. And it's going to leave you in a trap situation. What is the Eight of Swords doing here? Ooh, Capricorn, Jesus. Okay, so I got the page of pentacles. Could be um, a job or some type of schooling. Um, could be about an ability to take on news about money. Uh, five of cups could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You are definitely coming out or understanding about a loss that left you emotionally drained or can't sleep at night. Maybe you cheated. Seems like you guys are cheating on people. Three of cups, you could be drinking, partying, drugging. 
Um, the lovers could be having um, adulterous relationships or your parents are telling you to stop doing that dumb ass shit and you still fucking doing it. Yeah, seven of pentacles. Seems like it to me. Ooh, the justice card. So, um, could be dealing with the Libra, two of swords. You could be looking at all this shit because the seven of pentacles, he's looking at all these mistakes he's made on the board. And he's just like, man, these were dumbass decisions I made. And they were. Um, justice here. You feel some type of way emotionally about the shit you put yourself through, but it's really your fault. Nobody cares. That's why you in a, that's why it's on top of eight of swords because you put yourself in that position. And in the two of swords, it's like, what you expect? That's the news. Like, what you invest in is what you get back. If you create better relationships to invest in and really like water them, they'll be growing and, and be, you know, worth fruitful. Let's see. What else for Capricorn? King of Cups in the transition card, Devil, or the Death. So some of you guys refuse to kill off the possessive, emotionally moody, codependent relationships. Could be dealing with Scorpio. You have a Scorpio person, they're just not killing off what they need to kill off. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Neptune energy. Someone is definitely hanging from right to left, deciding what they want to get rid of and deciding what doesn't need to stay. What needs to go? Seven of Pentacles. They're looking actively at what needs to go, what they're hanging from. They want to be free. They want. They don't want any drama. Capricorn is not want any drama. They want a free to explore. It could be a Seven of Pentacles or a Seven of Pentacles. I see Seven of Pentacles here. It could be a Leo, King of Wands. But you're still fucking controlling. You're trying to uh, make a reconciliation, but the love offer is bullshit. Nine of Swords. You you have so many ideas. But you don't think about other people's shit. You just rush in. And you just think that your ideas are better than everybody else's. That's why you're a single, lonely person. Like, you you, you swing in. You don't know where you want to do. You up there and putting in seeds in the ground and not knowing where your investments are going to go. You're hoping for freedom, but you're controlling the outcome and you don't get what you want. You're trying to create an opportunity. It doesn't go for you. And then you're off to another idea. It's just like you keep creating these messes. Okay, so Capricorn women, what is your advice for you? Um, some of you Capricorn women will be invited to move quickly or you guys will be pushed out or forced out or move. Um, it's saying here it will bring you to a tower moment. You guys will have a lot of destruction. Um, the renewal will be seven of swords. It, getting away from something deceptive that you're trying to get away from could be the emperor. So a control freak or a, a nuisance. So you guys can find a way to outsmart the emperor. Could be dating this person. Yeah, it definitely says here, I dropped the cards. Definitely says here, somebody betrayed you. Could be a cross watcher. You feel like the, the devil has betrayed you. They're very low vibrational. And you're trying to get away from this person. So definitely, I see here, um, this person could be chained to their addictions. And you feel betrayed. And you're trying to move on from this person. Do move on. It could be you. Move on from your addictions and stop hurting people. Nine of Wands, putting distance between someone. And four swords. They're definitely sick. They got problems. They're hermit. They don't listen to people. They're very, very negative. Capricorn men. Okay, so. Okay, so I do see here. Here you are, Capricorn, four of pentacles. You want a new beginning, but you want a third-party relationship where people have to compete for your affections. Not going to happen. Uh, what's going to be the result of that? Okay, so I got a spread here. Ooh, okay. Um, two of swords. You, you're going to have a lot of difficulty with that. This is the moon in Gemini. You're not going to get what you want. Or you're going to be looking at it like, hmm, it didn't work out the way I want. Unsavory options. No, but maybe you, maybe you, you can get what you want, but it's not the girls you want. So you got all these people you don't want to be in a third-party relationship with you, and you don't get what you want. So it's like... It's no point. King of Pentacles. He's got all this money, but he has to make difficult decisions. Maybe you're not as hot as you thought you were. <laughs> uh, three of Swords. You you just pretty much understand this is not going to go the way to plan. It just really didn't go the way to plan. That's so sad. It just broke down in your face. And now you're trying to find another way deceptively to either separate yourself from your desires or walk away. But you're still controlling, so you're still going to try to implement and get your way. What's Seven of Swords and Emperor? 
Oh, no, I'm not taking all those cards. You got a lot to say. You're going to have to condense that shit. Okay, so what is the Seven of Swords and the Emperor? Okay. The star reversed. You're very depressed. Someone who doesn't see things clearly. I'm going to put that under the Emperor because that's definitely his energy right there. And uh, Eight of Cups. So you're going to go on a spiritual journey. Maybe you're trying to start a business spiritually. Five of Cups can be about um, a loss, confusion about how to deal with the loss. But you're still demonic. Could be dealing, you, maybe you're chaining yourself to someone that's intuitive. Queen of Cups, this person takes care of everybody. They're very burnt out as it is. And you're going to chain yourself to someone like that? I don't know. Um, yeah, you, you, your spiritual journey, You, I don't get this Capricorn. You're going to try to do something deceptive spiritually. You think you could just walk away after doing all that deceit or try to have a fake spiritual journey. You're depressed of being, uh, you're tired of being controlling, but you're, you're only tired of not getting what you want. And then you're trying to go into this venture and it doesn't give you what you want. You feel confused and conflicted because you need fucking therapy. Capricorn, man, you need to get your life together this time around. Okay, so what is the verdict? What is the future for Capricorn together? Okay, so the Fool and the Page of Wands. If you are trying to do something creative, the Fool is saying it is not time. You're going to fuck up something. You're going to do something stupid, and you're going to end up fucking yourself over, and you're not going to get what you want. Tread carefully. Drive slow. Um, it also says here, <clears throat> relationships can go down. They're not. You still feel good, but it's not the relationships you want. Two of Pentacles could be juggling. Um, the Magician. Be careful about using deception to get what you want. Um, be careful of your latent energy. You could be using deception on a Leo, uh, Virgo, Leo, Virgo, or it could be a Sagittarius or an Aries. Um, you want to help them out and give them some type of money or bring them out of lack, but the Wheel of Fortune is flagging you. It's saying that it's not a good decision. It's going to turn out badly if it's deception. So if you're being deceptive. You better believe that justice is going to kick your ass. This is karmic. You can't treat this person like shit, and you're going to be possessive, jealous, and moody because you were trying to be secretive and deceptive, and your, your high priestess shit didn't work out for you. You can't, and cherry, you're not going to go anywhere. Look at this. You're going to end up drinking and being in the same situation you were in, stressed out and annoyed, six of swords, unable to move on. You just need to cut down, down the negative things in your life. Tower. You know, you got other people's shit. Again, look, look, look. Let's have a little intervention. If you are in a relationship and you have to use manipulation or codependency, to try to get out of it or try to get what you want from me, you probably shouldn't be in it. Real love is about a person who will, will want to do what you want to do because they want to do it and they want to make you happy and make themselves happy. If you have to do all this deception shit to get someone to be with you or love you, then it's not meant to be. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much magic or coercion you do, that person never really loved you. You just love the idea of being able to get what you want for a little while. That's the essence of Five of Swords because you get what you want in the beginning, but at the end of the day, you never really win. That person never really loves you, and you know they don't because once you take the, the coercion and the power and the spell work away, it's the regular person. They don't care. You can't make people fall in love with you. It's not real. So at the end of the day, like, be careful. Like, don't put your energy in the people that you have to feel deceitful. If this relationship is ended, it's like a fucking caterpillar, and it went to a butterfly, and the butterfly smashed, and just, hey, make yourself a new person, become a phoenix, and rise from the ashes and reinvent, reinvent yourself in your relationships. But I know what deception doesn't really help you. Okay, guys? So think before you act. All right? Thank you so much for joining me, Capricorn Sun, when it rising. You like that video and want an extended reading. It's $11 for the extended. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.